Well, it was a safer New Year's Eve on the roads overnight. Alcohol-related DUIs down in both Mobile and Baldwin counties. News 5's Brianna Hollis joins us live in Baldwin County tonight to tell us more about these statistics. Brianna? So, Peter Roseanne, after we saw a tweet from Mobile Traffic saying that there were zero DUI alcohol related arrests last night. We took a look at both the Mobile County and Baldwin County jail logs to get a look for ourselves. And we did find one DUI arrest in Mobile County. However, we don't know at this point whether or not that was drug or alcohol related. Still, though, this drop in numbers was pleasantly surprising to people we spoke with. Completely astounding because um, usually you see blue lights everywhere on holidays and just shows that they're doing their job. As the Gulf Coast rang in the new year, Fewer sirens rang out to pull over drunk drivers. Glad things are safe. People we spoke with down here really seemed to think that Uber and Lyft actually had a lot to do with that. You know, it was packed down here last night for the Moon Pie Drop. It's an entertainment district, so you can't actually walk down the street with a drink in your hand. And all of the bars were packed, you know, just at face value. There was a lot of drinking going on here last night. But as we can see by those DUI numbers and from what people are telling us here, when it was time to go home, instead of getting into the driver's seat, people got out their phones, opened up the Uber or Lyft apps, and got safely home in the passenger seat. A lot of people are realizing that the $7 or $15 or even $30 for an Uber or Lyft is a lot cheaper than $3,500 for DUI. From what we found in the Mobile and Baldwin County jail logs, there was only one overnight DUI arrest in Mobile. However, that may have been drug, not alcohol related. We don't know that yet. And according to those same logs, this is what the DUI count looked like last New Year's Eve with three arrests in Baldwin County and seven in Mobile. Meanwhile, the local AAA branch also had a program in place to help combat drunk driving. They would both tow your car to your house and take you home for free as long as you were within a 10-mile radius. Reporting live in Baldwin County, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5. Thank you, Brianna.